Hello everyone, it's Steamboy27. Let's continue our journey and find our way through the Dragonfly Forest. But first, there actually is a side quest we can do. I had no idea we could do it. Um, you know how uh, Kelmar's dad, the blacksmith, wanted us to tell him something and I just kind of gave up? Well, you can talk to him multiple times, up to five times in fact. I think we're on the third one right now. You're the only one who can become a Cocoon Master. You're so lucky. Why am I lucky? Everyone I hates me. I'm a blacksmith. Nothing's wrong with blacksmiths. No, oh, it's nothing for you to worry about. I wonder what it's like outside of Cyrus. Oh, I'm so sick of this village. There we go. Oh man, that pig-headed old timer. He knew this whole time. Was there anything else? Maybe like. Uh, that bird monster? So you... Alright, so that we've, we've done all we can to talk to him and we've relayed the message, so cool. What? You talk as if he was your own teacher. In your dreams. He's only teaching you things so you can help the village. What were you thinking? You know, Lily. Hurry up and go back to the forest. What? Okay, you know what? Uh, okay. Louie has nothing good to say. Now let's see if we can talk to the blacksmith. I don't know if we need to. I tested it, but it seems he doesn't have anything else to say. Just buying a powerful weapon doesn't mean nothing unless you ready it. You know that? Come again. Yeah, I think that's about it. So, let's head on to the Dragonfly Forest. Every time we unlock a forest, we have to go to the barrier gate first and unlock it there. Then we can go in again. The Dragonfly Forest is the second one on the right. Here we go. I think this is my favorite forest out of all the others. This is probably my favorite one. It's a marsh. And it's got a nice oboe. Very nice oboe. Uh, we already have a good- there's a Mardrag over there. Oh, Terrafraid, excuse me. Oh, by the way, I also, uh, I bought the... Uh, sword of speed off screen. I just cocooned a bunch of monsters uh, through the beetle gate. It's pretty easy. Take on this guy. Take that. We already have a Terfraid of our own, so we can just uh, kill this one. Like I said, we're not gonna you. We're not gonna capture them for money or anything until I grind later. So it's all good. Take this. Awesome! Level up! Let's keep on going. Did I miss something there? That must be the monster right there. Or it could be... Hold on. Hold on a second. What is this? It looks like there's a polygon there, but I guess it's... Yeah, I guess it's nothing to worry about. It must be this Terfraid right here. Oh, no, there's an item behind it. I see it now. But yeah, Sword of Speed, it's just like any other knife. Except it gives you like five more speed, which is pretty awesome. Considering it's an upgrade to your attack power anyway. Holy crap! Alright, let's talk about how awesome that was. Nah, I'm just kidding. Let's keep going. Alright, so on here, we'll find a Kickleberry. That's a key item. Actually, let's look at that. The Kickleberry. A rare berry found only in the forest depths. Strange smells shunned by some, but loved by others. It's valuable. We can't eat it. So, uh, we're just gonna have to hold on to it until something comes up. The path splits here, and we want to go up here first. Here is a Teralco. Uh, it's a pterodactyl. Now hopefully we don't kill it with one strike. Uh, I'm 
not making any promises. Fantastic. Well, that's right, this guy has a special attack. I forget what it is, but it was if you see a white effect, then it does it's either neutral damage or it does something else. A special effect. We won't be able to see until we uh, capture it, so let's take him out. And capture him. I've learned by adventuring and grinding that usually only two variants of an elemental monster show up in an area, such as the uh, Terfraid or the such as the dog thing with the horn we fought. It's only shown as uh, earth and wind in the beetle gates. Same goes for the paddle chew and the skeeb and uh, a bunch of other things. So they only have two iterations uh, per uh, dungeon. And they may be the- oh, look at that. Knowledge 4. What does Knowledge 4 have to say? When afflicted with sleep, you cannot act. Your physical and magical defense and avoidance ability decrease, resulting in more damage. So sleep is not only there for crowd control, but it's also there as a weakening thing. As a weakened attack. Like how poison is. Alright, now we can take out these guys. We can just kill them if we want to. I'm hoping we find some air dudes, uh, air minions, because I want to level up our, uh, uh, I want to level up our fire monster, a fire minion, because, as heard in the tale by the old man Poto, they say that the birdman is weak to fire. So we want to level up our guy as much as we can. Oh, this guy is just casting earth way too much. Oh, well, it's not doing that much to us. We're tanking. Bam. I love the death animations for some of these guys. So detailed. Realistic, too. Alright. It doesn't look like there's anything on this map except for these monsters. So let's take them out. The good thing is, the fights are quick if you know what to do, so I don't need to cut them out. Take that! Ha! That didn't do anything to me. I forget. I think there are some enemies that will actually run from you. I don't remember which ones, but I think some of them do. At least one of them does. Maybe I'm wrong. Who knows? One more level up. Sweet. We need to level up our water monster a little bit, but all these guys are earth, which destroys, which is good against water, so we can't really use them. We could have them try and do the finishing blow, maybe that'll work. A good and bad thing about this game is that there is no split experience. At least for killing one monster. If you kill one and then have another monster kill the other, then yeah, it's split, but not split in the sense that you get half the experience from one monster. <clears throat> this could be a good thing and a bad thing, depending on how you look at it. Ah, oh, crap, I didn't mean to kill it. Oh, whatever. We need to level up Mukambu. I don't feel good having him at the same level as these uh, normal normal dudes. But all we see are Earth monsters. I, okay. Oh, two of them. Well, this isn't good at all. How are those guys even flying? Those wings are way too small. Oh, God. Take that. Maybe if they use three earth spells, I'll switch to uh, our water dude. I'll switch to Mukambu. Alright, that should be good enough. Let's see if Mukambu can take... take the... 
That's not the combo. Oh, you know what? Let's just go with it. Paddle 2 needs some uh, training anyway. Oh, but he can attack twice on us. That's a that's a bother. Eat that. I think our paddle 2 can poison things. I'll have to check that later. What the? Okay, I didn't even see that one, but oh well. Who cares? Oh, I missed. Crap. Yeah, sometimes physical attacks will miss. Take that. You know, let's see if our water dude can, uh, if Mukambu. I keep messing up the name. I'm afraid to say the name wrong because there's such hard things to remember to begin with. Can I expect you guys to remember them? I really don't think I should. Ah, oh, crap. Alright, well, we can use Medina, but I don't see what that would accomplish. Okay, maybe it would accomplish a lot. Let's, let's actually use Medina. Costs 15 MP, but it heals a lot of damage. Yeah, this isn't working out. Let's uh, let's use let's use ourselves. Test out this dagger we got. It's pretty good. I don't think we'll be able to attack twice on this guy, but we can attack twice against other people. And one more should do it. Here we go. All right, we definitely leveled up from this. I, I hope so. All right, sweet. Keep on moving. Another split path. Let's go right first. Ah, oh, that's right, I remember this. You have to put something in there. So the path is kind of blocked, but there are openings to the left and to the right. Now, I don't think there's anything here, but uh, we'll fight this guy anyway. Okay, I take that. Uh, I kind of regret that now. Come on. There we go. One down. Okay, so 32 becomes 18. That's... I can hit him one more time. Good. I'm doing math in my head. Alright, let's get the killing blow. We haven't merged Mukambu with anything, have we? Huh, neither of them leveled up. I can't tell because of that graphical glitch. Yeah, there's nothing in here, okay. Up! Oh. Uh, let's try and avoid this guy, there we go. And in here... There's also nothing? Okay, so this is a dead end. Run! Over here is a tablet. Okay, guarded. Uh, 
All right, let's just take these guys out, look at that tablet, and get out of here. Switch to Paddle Jew. We're probably going to leave after this, after we pick up the tablet, because the fork in the road is very close to the beginning of the path. All right. Oh yeah, that's right. Let's see if we can poison this guy. No, cannot. Cannot. Okay, so we do not inherit any poison attacks. That sucks. Oh, crap. How about a horn attack? One more. This could- I can't- okay, never mind. Yeah, those are a gamble. Maybe I should've used Agni. You know what's funny? That Agni is what they call fire in this game, but they don't call wind Rudra. If you get that joke, you can let me know. It's a Devil May Cry reference. If you wanted to, uh, if you want to hint. Come on, get the kill, get the level. It's all about the level. By the way, you can't retreat when you're using your uh, minion. Remember that. So, if you feel like you're going to run away, don't summon a minion. Just run first. There we go. Level ups for everyone. Cool. Let's take a look at this tablet. Magic usage, one. What does it say? Mana will recover slightly and damage is less likely while defending. Defend skillfully to boost your special attack and magic power. Does that make sense, viewers? When you defend with your minions, they will recover mana. I I've actually f I actually forgot that, so I'm glad I picked this tablet up. Alright, let's leave the forest, and uh, we'll come back later, next time. This has been Steamboy27, wishing you all a brighter tomorrow. Next time we'll take the left path in the road. Hopefully we'll find the key to open that door we saw. See you later.